Hey, this is Kenneth, and today I'm going to show you how to operate a jointer planer. So a jointer planer is actually two separate tools which are typically combined into one in, in a multi-unit like this. The jointer is the tool that you use to get a single flat side on a board. Then you would run it through the planer to get it the other side flat the same. So obviously this is a short straight board, but every single piece of lumber is inevitably going to be somehow warped or skewed or bent so that you're going to need to get it straight. How you get it straight on one side is that you feed it through the joiner is what it has is it has a rotating head right here with three blades and so you would feed it through and it's going to get one of the sides perfectly flat. Once that side's flat you can run it through the planer which has blades on the top and once you have the one flat side, you can use that as a reference and then cut the, uh, the top side from that and you'll get something that's perfectly flat. So I'll first show you how to run a piece, uh, piece of board through the jointer, which is this part, and then I'll show you how to run it through the planer, which is the other part. Now, when you're getting ready to run a board through the jointer, the one adjustment that you need to make is you need to decide how much of the bottom surface you're going to take off. Underneath, underneath the table, there's an adjustment screw that lets you raise the infeed table anywhere from a thirty sec, second of an inch down to an eighth of an inch cut on this blade. So I much prefer to just take lots of small cuts because I'm just trying to get a good surface to work off of. And so I have the infeed table set for just one thirty second of, of an uh, inch. When you feed it through, this thing will like to eat fingertips. And so you, you want to use some sort of push block to really make sure that you don't get your hands caught in the machine. Again, let's play it again. Hearing protection, eye protection, don't lose the fingers. It's a good policy. Now that we've got one side nice and smooth, we can use that as the reference to now get another one of these sides also smooth. Um, so then we'll have this side and the bottom side nice and smooth, then we'll be able to run this top surface through the planer. So now that I've got this side uh, jointed, and then I used it to joint the uh, 90 degree side, so off one of the off sides, now that I've got those two smooth, I can now run it through the planer half to get this top surface smooth relative to this one. To do that, I need to lower the bed here until the board will fit in there. Uh, right here it has a dial to show you how, how aggressive of a cut you'll, you'll be taking. So we'll first lift it up 
so that it's taking off one thirty second of an inch. Now, the planer is going to be unique in that it actually has feed rollers in it. So once I get the board started, the machine will actually handle feeding it all the way through, and I'll just need to catch it on the other end. Get some hearing protection on. Let's go. So, now we've got one surface through the joiner, second surface through the joiner relative to it, the third surface we just did on the planer, so now we know that these two surfaces are perfectly straight to each other. Now, to square, completely square it up, we would take the fourth end off on the table saw, which I've shown you how to do, so we'd rip off that, and then we'll have a perfectly square board. So this has been Kenneth, showing you how to use the planer jointer.